Hi Floss Tube. This is Stephanie, the Ivy House Crafter. It is April 1st, 2019. And I don't know what number Floss Tube I'm on. I never remember until I'm editing the video. I have a cold today. Uh, it came up yesterday and I couldn't even like rest and rejuvenate yesterday because I have musical responsibilities at church and they were like double what they usually are yesterday because of a special event the youth were doing and I was accompanying them as they sang. So I didn't get very much rest yesterday although I did get a nap between church and the evening program. And today I'm just <clears throat> when I woke up this morning, um, Jeff and the girls were in the middle of assembling Matthew's new toddler bed, so I was thrown straight into a stressful situation. It was okay, we got it all worked out. Super cute bed, it's sitting in the living room right now because we need to clean out his room and get rid of the crib and put the bed in. Anyway, today's dad joke. When do ghosts play tricks on each other? April Ghoul's Day. Happy April Ghoul's Day, everybody. I've had years where I've been a fun mom and, and done all the fun April Fool's Day stuff with the kids, you know make jello and, and put a straw in it and then give them juice in the morning and they can't get the juice because it's jello, that kind of thing. I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not a fun mom this year because this year I'm a sick mom and I don't care. <laughs> it's just another day. Anyway, let's jump straight into whips, shall we? Um... When I left you all last week, I had been working on um, <clears throat> my Butterfly Specialty Stitches Sal by Doreen Jones through Lakeside Needlecraft. And so I picked that back up um, Monday after the Flossed video and I put in all the frames for the remaining sections to be done. This was fun. It was um, not quite monotonous, but like repetitive enough to be relaxing. And I and I. But um, there's sections where, if you look at, if you look at this, like where the butterfly kind of breaks through the frame, and so I had to really pay attention so that I would know where <clears throat> to skip stitches to leave room for the butterflies. Um, so it was repetitive, but kept my attention. So, so that was nice. And that is, again, Butterfly Specialty Stitches, Sal. And I will link that below. And I'm stitching it with my own color conversion on um, 28 count he died Monaco. Ah, uh, next I pulled out Chalkboard Mandala by Ink Circles. And that is this one right here. So, previous to this rotation, I had, well, I had the circle in the middle done, and I had this corner here. And so, in this rotation, I was able to finish this corner. And that was a two-day rotation. Since there's only two days left, I 
I could technically finish this with four days of, of good work. So this is the one that I put in in this past rotation. So yeah, four good days could t could um, potentially complete this for me. That would be really cool. This was one of my mania starts last year. <clears throat> And it's one that I pull out very irregularly, like, not very often. <laughs> but as it, as it grows, it, it just looks cooler and cooler. So this is, um, you know, obviously I'm, I change things around quite a bit. Um, this is a JNP Coats red and orange variegated, and I'm stitching it on 32 count lambs will jogel in. Okay, the next piece that I pulled out for a two-day rotation, I finished, so I'm going to save that for my finishes section. Um, so then, that brings us to Saturday. Um, Audrey, who was in last week's video, um, she told me that I really needed to work on Roses on White Chair because that's my oldest whip. It's the one that I, I started with when I first got back into stitching early last year. And, and I was kind of, eh, I, don't really, I don't really want to work on that one. So, um, <clears throat> so she suggested that we open up Decision Roulette and spin the wheel and see what comes up. And Decision Roulette and Audrey both had a good laugh at me because it also chose Roses on White Chair. So on Saturday I pulled out my Dimensions kit, Roses on White Chair. Um, it's not my favorite to work on because the Ada is stiff and the stitches all just kind of like jump around and you know it, it's a Dimensions kit. You either really like them or they get kind of old. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> Here's where I'm at on Roses on White Chair. It can be hard to see progress on this because I tend to jump all over the place when I'm working on this. I don't like pick a section and, and work on it. I pick um, a symbol and then just like fill in that symbol until I'm tired of filling it in and then move on to something else. I know I did some dark greens. I also did some pale greens. I think I brought this up here. Yeah. This part right here, these two little greens and this little bit of pink here is one stitch, I think it's either one stitch wrong this way or this way, but it's one stitch off. And I contemplated and decided to leave it. It will be easily fudged. And I didn't feel like frogging. It's not very much, <laughs> but I didn't feel like frogging. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, this is where it is right now. And then I was going to work on it some more yesterday, but, <coughs> excuse me, obviously I had a cold and <clears throat> didn't feel good. I was busy doing piano and organ stuff 
and taking naps, or a nap. And so by the time I was, I got home from the evening program, um, I was contemplating pulling it out and stitching on it and, and decided, no, I'm just, I'm too bleh. So I didn't do any stitching yesterday. So that is all of the whips that I worked on. And now, as I said before, I have a finish. Yay me! I should have pulled out the, the bell from my, my little Bunko game. Remember when Bunko was popular a while back? My sister-in-law got me a, a Bunko game. And we don't use it very much. Just like I get it out with the kids and we'll play for a while or something. But it's got the little bell! And I could have done a Pam and Steph. Happy finishes, everybody! But I don't have my bell. That's okay. I have a finish, and that's even better. This is Bird Sampler by Brenda Keys. And <coughs> when I pulled it out on Thursday, it was... I didn't intend for it to be a finish. Um, in my mind, I still had a long ways to go. But then... I put in these three birds and a few more leaves down here and I realized all I have left is some leaves and some words and I really could finish this in this rotation and so when I got it out again on Friday I worked like crazy and put in all of these words I think I, I only had the the bottom line of words so I put in all the rest and finished up the leaves and put in the date and my name and it was done and it was a whole lot more work than <coughs> for one day than I thought that it was going to be because all of these words are one over one on 32 count and it was hard holy cow <laughs> I was really tired of stitching by the time I finished, but I was also really excited because I've loved working on this piece and it's so cool that it's finally done. So I'm going to read it to you. The bird which soars on highest wing builds on the ground her lowly nest, and she that doth most sweetly sing, sings in the shade when all things rest. Isn't that pretty? And. It originally said 1829, no, 1827, and um, Lucy Tyler, I think, was the name on it. And I changed it to be 2019 and have my name Stephanie Basker. So, it's so pretty. I love it so much. And someday I'm going to get it framed and put it up on the wall. Okay, so that's all the stitching I did. Um, I have put together some tentative, <coughs> well, not all of them are tentative, but um, I'm starting my list of what I want to do, what I want to start for Stitch Mania. Um, I talked about what my plans kind of were in my last video where um, every three days I'll have a new start and in that three-day period I will work on that new start and one of my whips. So I thought I would just go through and um, show the things that I'm going to be starting. Um, this is the book Preserving Stitches and I have already done Pepper Jelly. That's this one right 
here. I'm not sure which one I'm going to start this um, coming, well, it's next month, yay. My choices are apple rings, pear honey, copper pennies, sweet dills, beet relish, spiced peaches, or orange jelly. And they just all look really fun, so I, I haven't decided which one yet, but I have the fabric that I need for all of them, and it's all just DMC, so I'm kitted up no matter which one I choose. I'll just decide later on what I'm going to start. Okay. And this is all in no particular order. Um, this is a pattern that I received from a giveaway. I think it was Kindred Stitcher who sent it to me. And this is Plum Street Sampler's American Sampler. And I went ahead and kitted this up in the Fancy Floss because <coughs> It's pretty. <laughs> so that would be all of these. Um, there might be one or two missing from here. I'm not sure. I need to go through and because I think that one, two, three stitch was out of some when I when I looked or when I ordered those. And the fabric I'm going to be using, I have some 36 count linen. In, and it's white, and I am going to hand dye that into a nice, hopefully nice, um, aged linen look. Um, let's see while I'm on that one. Also in this bag I have some 40 count linen, and, and I will be stitching deer and squirrel. Um, which is one of my patterns. I'll be stitching that on this 40 count cream Newcastle linen. And that will be with the called for DMCs. And let me let me pull that up so I can show it to you. Um, should have gotten it ahead of time <laughs> but I did not I did not okay that is this one deer and squirrel I'm excited to do this one on 40 count I've never stitched on 40 count before okay um next bag So that's one, two, three starts. Um, Heartstring Sampler, the Cat Sampler. And this is new this year. <clears throat> and I have this one kitted up with the called for flosses. Again, I think I might be missing one or two colors. Um, and I have to go in and check. But instead of the kind of pale pink color it calls for, I'll be stitching it on ice blue linen. I don't think this one has much in the way of variegation, so I'm not going to unfold it. It's just a just a nice blue. Yeah. Just stick that in. Um, I have a couple dimensions kits that I was thinking about starting in May, but I, I've pretty much decided I'm not going to start any new Dimensions kits until I have finished what I have already, you know, until I've finished the Dimensions kit that I've already got, because I don't want more than one Dimensions going at a time. <laughs> okay, I've already lost the count. That's four. I don't have ten yet, I think. I might. I don't think I do. Anyway, number five, I'm going to show the pattern because it's very old and I don't have a picture of the finished piece, but this is um, Vegetable Sampler. 
that I, you, know, you can kind of get a, tell, uh, a feel for what it's going to look like, kind of. But I won this in one of Michelle Benny Stitchy's um, giveaways, where she takes um, patterns from magazines and sends them to whoever wins. So I will be starting that in Mania. And I've got some 32 count natural linen that I bought quite a while ago and never could figure out what to do with it. So I think that will look really cool on this. Okay, now I really have lost count. I don't know where I'm at. Blech. Um. This is not complete, obviously. Um, the, this is the works of Jane Austen. Sal. <coughs> and um, there's already a section for Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, and Mansfield Park. I haven't printed those ones out yet, but um, I will be starting that finally. And that's just called um, in DNC, and I'll be stitching it on 28 count water lily jobelin. That's really pretty. It's a kind of pale green color. All right. I will be starting. Come on out. Salt Lake Temple Square. This one will be really neat. You could it's it's a very small picture, but it works up to be um, like nine and a half inches wide and only three inches tall. So it's just like this this little strip of awesomeness. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> it's hard to put these back where they belong. And that I will be stitching on 28 count Summer Sky Jobelin. It's a pale blue and it's got like a little bit of white variegation in it to, to look a little bit like clouds. So that will be pretty. And I will be starting Autumn Salt Boxes. And this, if you've been following me for a while, I bought this for my birthday back in November. Um, so it's about time I, I actually start it. Um, <clears throat> that I will be stitching it in all the called for colors with the called for fabric. Oh, that didn't go back in the bag. Okay, um, I think it was this bag. I don't think that's 10 yet. Oh, let me count. That's eight new starts. I think I'll fill in the other two with, um, small projects because I tend to start somewhat larger projects and um, and it's nice to have smaller things to work on too so that I can get finishes every once in a while so I'll probably just um, throw in a couple small new starts for the for the last two okay that is all that I have today that's my whips and my finish and my planned new starts for Stitch Mania coming up next month. I'm excited. Some of these I've been really wanting to start and um, kind of holding off because I wanted to finish things or, or, you know, get more progress on some of my other whips. But I'm excited to start things. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I hope you are all well. Um, don't get a cold. It's not fun. I hope to be feeling much better next week when I see you again. Happy stitching, everybody. Bye.